Today, we are going to implant this Plains Hognose Snake with a radio transmitter. And we hope to document uh, how far she travels, where she goes to lay her eggs, and of course, where she spends the winter. We are um, starting a project involving patch burn grazing in western Minnesota. And because this snake is so closely tied to quality prairie habitat, tracking this snake in the patch burn graze uh, tracks will help us learn how patch burn grazing affects herpetofauna, especially species that are closely tied to prairie habitats, such as this plains hognose snake. All right, so we'll yep. get a weight. You can just put her in are there. Are we ready to go? Yeah. We are at 183 grams. The snake is very well equipped for the transmitters that we have. This is the radio transmitter. This is what's going to go in. This part is going to go inside the snake. This part, this is going to go subdermally. Uh, this antenna here, which increases the read range. Can she just stay in this little bucket? Sure. Yeah, that would be that would be great. If you notice the snout on this particular snake, why they call it the Plains Hognose Snake, is because it has that almost that spade on the end of its snout, and that spade is is it's a it's a very tough keratinized scale, and they use that to to dig into or burrow into loose soil. I'm just gonna put a little bit in there, get a pulse with the Doppler. lidocaine where we're going to make the initial skin incision here. All right, ready to make our incision here. Are we good? I think we're good. All right, we do have to use a certain suture pattern whenever we're suturing the scaly skin like this. So this is something called an everting pattern that I'm doing. Instead of like this, the incision healing, we actually want it like this because the scales, we don't want to invert scales. That's gonna affect the, the healing process. All right, there comes a tongue flicker. We're done. <laughs> we're, we're done with all this, huh? We'll start tracking right away. We want to get the snake back out there um, as soon as we can. We're going to keep her overnight for observation, but then we're going to get her back out into the wild tomorrow. This was a very welcome find. We weren't sure if we were going to get a Plains Hognose snake for this study. We weren't even sure we were going to get one. So this is a pretty exciting day to actually have a snake in hand for this project.